A factory reset erases all settings, configurations, and data that were stored on the switch, essentially returning it to its original state. If you're ready for this fresh start, you have some options. The physical reset button or the web user interface are most often used for this task. However, if you like to use the command line interface, CLI, that's also an option on many switches. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to factory reset a Catalyst 1200 or 1300 switch using CLI. Next. Once you connect to your switch through the CLI and log in, you can check the current running configuration with the command show run. Everything displayed here that isn't a default setting will be deleted after the factory reset. There are three methods to factory reset your Catalyst switch using CLI that I'll review today. The first two are used to reset a standalone switch. The last is specific to switches in a stack. For each method, you will need to be in privileged exec mode. The first option is to use the no boot config command. This command uninstalls the startup configuration file. The uninstalled file is then deleted. To implement this method, type the command no boot config and press enter. Enter Y to delete the startup configuration and then input the command reload. Select the Y key to continue with the process. You will see a warning that this command will reset the whole system. Enter Y to continue. After the device has restarted, it will load without a startup configuration file and has been reset to the factory default settings. The second option is to use the command delete startup config. Confirm by pressing the Y key. Enter the reload command and select the Y key to continue. To continue with the reset process, enter Y once again. The third method is primarily used for stacked switches and has a few variables you can use. If you wanted to only reset one switch in a stack, you could specify it in the command. For example, to implement a reset on unit two of a stack, you would type the command reload factory dash default unit two. A warning will state that this command will reset unit two and that it will no longer be a member of the stack. Select the Y key to continue. After reboot, the unit will be reset to factory default settings and will no longer be part of the stack. If you want to reset all the switches in the stack, enter the command reload factory dash default. Press the Y key to continue. After the process has been completed, the switches will reboot as factory reset standalone devices. There you have it. You can now use the CLI commands to factory reset a standalone switch, one switch in a stack, or an entire stack of switches. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.